guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good and blessed on this fabulous Sunday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the support. Love and light and namaste to you. If you are a returning sub and you are stopping by, thank you for your support and love and light and namaste to you. My video today is about Twin Flame 101, dealing with depression. It's something that so many of us are battling with every day. Right now I'm listening to spa relaxation music, um, and it's so calm and soothing. And um, it's just so many things that we have to deal with and we have to conquer, become the greatest version of ourselves. It's just like I've been battling this stuff for so long and it's just like when you deal with so many things and you know you have fought that good fight, like I make these videos, I go out and try to do the best that I can, try to be a better person. You know, somebody needs to have a compliment that they might not recognize. Like, um, I went on Facebook and one of my um, childhood classmates that I used to go, go to school with um, decorated his house. And I was just like, do you do this professionally? And he was like, no, you know, I just, you know, because I was out feeling the decor, you know, you just, you, the way you got it all set up, you would think it would come out of a magazine, like for home and gardens or something like that. I'm like, man, I would want you to go ahead and decorate my house. And he was like, wow, I never thought of it like that. I said, this could be your side hustle to go and go to people's house and just to lighten it all up. And I know that's something I need to go ahead and do because it's just like mine is just so, mine is all like about me. It's just really earthy. So I'm just, you know, it's all dark colors and stuff like that. So I need to lighten it up a little bit. Because it just feels like you, you want your house and your surroundings to match the mood that you're in. And right now, I mean, it's just, I hope you guys are feeling the energy that I'm pushing out. Because right now, it's just like, hey, you know, I'm just so happy. Because it feels good. Even though things are not clear to me how everything's going to pan out. And I just sit up here and just like, oh my gosh, you know, how is it going to end? What What is it, you know? How is it going to end? And it's just like you're reading a good book and you're just like, oh my God, I just can't wait to get to the end to see how this is going to happen. Is this person going to get the, you know, the love of their life or is the villain going to win and stuff like that? You, you know, that's how I feel about things. And it's just like, this is not the time to be depressed. And I was listening to my music this morning and meditating. And next thing you know, <clears throat> it's like, songs that I resonate with my dad it was just like two of them one came on back to back and I was just like wow why would it do that I don't have it in my playlist more than once but it just played right back to back you know just like it was repeat and it was just like a wake up sign like hey you are on my mind don't think I don't think about you or whatever and then the next song is just like you know we have we have work to do we have things to do and this is just not the time to be sad and depressed you know you have to accept things and move on accept things are how they were accept things of how they will be it's like when i hear my, my little voice in my head with my future self and i hear myself saying you know what relax everything you know my, my future self is just so calm <laughs> just like what the heck did you have a volume smoothie this morning before you came to talk to me because it was just like just relax go with the flow you, you know we are our worst enemy we are our worst enemy it, it, it's just like I was watching with my 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 daughter the movie it the other day and it's just like I notice a lot of movies that I pick out and I watch. It's just like I, I can get it. You know, I get the message behind the movie. And it's just like I know from the old version, it's just certain things that it could not do. It is only fear. Fear is the only fear. Fear is fear itself. Okay. Fear is 
fear itself. You can't do anything if you don't fear your fear. If you don't fear your fear, you can keep going down that road and do what you need to do. And this is what I'm teaching myself. It's just like, don't fear the unknown. But I mean, that's a good thing when you don't know what's going on. This is just like, damn it, I want to be there right now. You know, I want to be with my family right now. And it's just like, you don't know what the heck is going on right now. You might not even want to be in the middle of anything right now. Because it's just like, you would think everything's calm waters, but there might be something in your destination that's just not right for you right now. You might not know how to handle that if you approach it right now. Maybe you need to learn a little bit more, research, do your things on learning yourself to know how you can be able to make yourself stronger. Because it's just like a lot of people that I've talked to lately has just been telling me, you know what, you know, especially as people that have known me for years. It's just like, girl, you could have been through so much and you, you don't sound the same. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, my skin's peeling off. That's, that lets you know I'm just shedding the old me off. It's just the old me. It's just when I battled depression, I dealt with it. I don't want to cope with anything. I don't want to cope with anything. I want to deal with it. Hit it head on. Face my fear for what it is and deal with it. That's not the way I know how to make myself a better person of who I am today. And it's just I don't have time to worry about, you know, um, what my family did to me and what they're getting away with right now. I can't worry about that right now. That's something I cannot control. I can't control nothing but myself. I can only control myself. I'm not going to give them keys to my life anymore to let them drive me crazy. I, I'm, I'm the only passenger up in there. I guess I'm going to have a lonely road for right now when it comes to my life. But it feels good just to know I'm on the right path because you, when you're on your destination and you're on your journey and you know when you're going, there is going to be some stuff that's going to come into you just going to come at you like crazy. You cannot give up. You cannot just say, you know what? You surrender everything and you let go and let God deal with it. That's all I had to deal with because there were so many things. That's how that, when you know you're on your path, you will have so much hell raising coming towards you that is not even funny. That is not even funny. And then that's when you know, you know what, I'm on the right path, but I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to sit down. You know, if you need to take a rest for a minute, you take that rest. You ask God and the angels or whoever, whatever. Can I take a rest for a minute? You know, this, this, this has really been wearing me down. Because dealing with depression, that stuff can really get to you. And it's just the point where it can make you sick. It can give you headaches. It can give you stomach aches. It will mess up. With it will give you ailments that you don't even know you realize you had when you let stress and depression mess with you. And that's why I know that day by day, when I know things are not going right, and then there's things that are not going right, and there's things that are actually going right, I try to be grateful for everything. Because when I experience the stuff and I deal with it, and you know, you don't react to it like you used to and just like you can tell yourself you know what I'm strong I can do this if such and such did this to me I'm not going to react to it hmm do not give for whoever the powers that be any ideas because they will put you in a situation just to see if you won't hold your own and then that's when they know when you're able to hold your own and you pass that test they already know you know what they're becoming who they're supposed to be because you're going to go through so many trials and tribulations, honey. Um, if I had a cup of tea, <laughs> I would be drinking that cup of tea. I would be straight drinking that cup of tea. I would be straight drinking that cup of tea. Because you will go through so many things. And you'll be questioning, like, why am I going through this? But it's just everything you go, with, go through. I guarantee you, by the time you get to the end of that road, you're going to look back. And all the stuff you went through, all the people that raised hell with you, the jobs that, you know, worked on your nerves that you, you dealt with and you stuck by. And, you know, sometimes you didn't have nothing to really show for it or whatever. And you look back and you in a better place. When you put your mindset, when you put your mindset in a better 
perspective to know that you are your your current situation is not your final destination, then you'll be a better person every day. And that's why I told myself the situation I'm in, oh, it's not gonna last too long. Trust me, this is not my final destination. It's all it's just a, all the part of the game that I gotta play. But I'm not gonna hold you guys up. It was 1010 that's telling me to have faith and I do. Hmm. And I will talk to you later. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button on that side. And I will talk to you later. And much blessings and prayers to you. I pray for everybody like I tell you. Much love. Peace. And be wow.